Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to compare Midjourney version 5, which is currently the king of AI, Arden AI image generators, versus a free one, which is powered by Microsoft Bing, in particular, their image creator, and that has running Dolly 2, or in fact, not even Dolly 2, it's more of an advanced version of Dolly 2, and uh, more specifically, it's completely free and unlimited. So, I want to compare the two and then for those of you that are, you know, trying to decide which one to if it's worth paying for Midjourney or not. This is probably the tutorial, the video for you. Also keep in mind Midjourney canceled their free 25 images, so you can't really play around with Midjourney. You got to pay for it. So let's take a look at them both and do a comparison. Now, before we get into that, I want to show you I came up with some prompts over here. So what I did is I used ChatGPT and I just said, hey, ChatGPT, can you create a bunch of prompts for images and art? And I said, you are a AI art random prompt generator. It says, and I asked if it understood, it understood, and then bang, I said, please create five random prompts. And here they are. So in no particular order, uh, these are the five prompts. We're going to compare a few of them, and then I'm going to add a sixth prompt in, which is basically for photorealism, and we're going to compare the two, because traditionally mid-journey is better at details and uh, the hyper-realistic type look where... Uh, Dolly and Stable Diffusion aren't quite as good at the photorealism. So we're going to compare them and you're going to be pleasantly surprised actually. So anyways, let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and take the first prompt here. I'm just going to Command C or Control C. I'm going to copy it. We're going to go into Microsoft Edge and we're going to run it in Edge. Now, please note that I recommend Edge over another browser. You can access the image creator in Chrome, for example, but I want to show you a key difference. In Chrome, if I right click on this image, I can save it and open it in a new tab, etc., etc. But watch this. If I go to Microsoft Edge and I right click on it, now I'm in Edge. Check this out. I can edit the image. And why is that important? Because if you look at this image, for example, and you look at her fingers, she's got five fingers and a thumb. And this one, well, she's got some sort of raven hawk type grip. So I would do something like this and maybe then hit enter and uh, yeah, crop it. So just keep in mind that this is why I highly recommend using Microsoft Edge over other browsers. Anyways, I'm gonna click out of that. But uh, there you go, you got a use case already. So here we go, let's go ahead and drag and let's copy and paste that one in. Create an abstract painting inspired by the colors and patterns of a tropical sunset. You'll notice here that I've got 84 of these tokens, right? You start off with 99 and uh, basically what it is is you got 99 fast, you get like 99 fast hour or 99 fast, I guess, generations and after that, it's still free, it just slows down a little bit. So keep that in mind, this is completely free. It's just, I'm using some faster um, responses here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Create, and it's gonna do its thing. We're gonna go switch back to Discord, and now I'm gonna do the same thing in Discord again. Command V, create an abstract painting inspired by the colors of a tropical sunset. And I ran this prompt twice already, so you guys can see here what it's gonna, you know, the kind of ideas that it gave me. And I'll be honest with you, they're really, really good. But when I go to uh, Microsoft Edge and I look at this, these are also really, really good. And if you really think about what abstract art is or an abstract painting, this is probably a little better because this is more in keeping with proper abstract art. Where um, If you look at the uh, Midjourney style, or pardon me, I uh, clicked on the wrong one there. Midjourney uses more of a, I guess, more of like an impressionistic abstract style so they're both great but um yeah there's definitely they're definitely both good but the free version there in in uh, microsoft edge is just as good in my opinion so let's go ahead and go back to the art or to chat gpt and now we're going to draw a portrait of a mythical creature that combines the features of a dragon and a unicorn we're going to call it dragacorn <laughs> why not okay so we're going to make a dragacorn Let's go ahead and go into Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna delete this prompt, or actually let's just delete this prompt, and then I'm gonna Command V and copy paste in the new one. I'm gonna click on Create, and it's gonna work its magic. We're gonna go into Discord and back into Midjourney. I'm gonna go forward slash imagine, copy and paste, drop that bad boy in there, and presto, here we go. So 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run out a couple more of these prompts. And then when I've done them all, I'm going to come back and we can do a direct comparison. All right, everybody, welcome back. So we've run all five of the prompts or so here in both the free image creator here, the Microsoft Bing image creator, uh, powered by Dolly. And we've also run it in mid journey over here. So let's start with the free version. I'm going to take a quick look at the first one. This was the abstract paintings. And if we click on one of them, Honestly, these are fantastic. These are exactly what come to mind for me when I think of a traditional abstract painting. Compare that to Mid Journey. Uh, again, these are also fantastic, don't get me wrong. Uh, they're a little bit of a different style, but uh, both fantastic. You can't go wrong either way. And if you wanted one to look more like the other, you just have to you know, add in a little bit of a more specific prompt. Maybe state what type of artist you were looking at or, you know, in the style of a certain artist. So um, let's go to the next one here, which is draw a portrait of a mythical creature that combines features of a dragon and a unicorn and a unicorn. OK, so in um, mid journey, we put that in and we got four very different styles. And if I'm being honest, I mean, they're all really good. I mean, the top left one makes the most sense, although the bottom left one here, the third one is kind of fun and <laughs> I wouldn't have it at a kid's party maybe but uh, you know what they're very very cool and this looks like a proper sketch anyways you got a very diverse uh, different types here in mid journey if we go over to uh, our other program here let's go over to Bing image creator we got more of the traditional sketch styles and you know what there's no wrong, nothing wrong with that because in an you know to be honest we put in draw a portrait so these are very much in a traditional portrait style, although this cool, uh, I don't know, cool little abstract type style dragon also good. So when it comes to like traditional artwork, you can't go wrong with either program. Both are good. Let's go back into mid journey and look at the third one here. This is the uh, hidden waterfall family of deer doing their thing in a landscape of a serene forest. So it's like a landscape painting of it. So again, four very cool looking images all good if we go over here to microsoft edge and we look at their version uh you can start to see a little bit of the difference this is a lot more uh i guess it just looks a lot more painted where if you look at the one in um if you look at mid journey it it, it is looks painted but there's more realism in it so i would probably give the edge if i was a judge I would give the edge to mid journey although there are a lot of old school painters that painted just like this and that might be the look you're going for and there's nothing wrong with that so this is just it just lacks the detail but i don't know if that's on purpose um presumably it is but again who knows so all right let's click and keep rolling through here this is design a futuristic cityscape with towering skyscrapers flying cars and holographic billboards all right some real blade runner stuff here Okay, let's take a look at, okay, well, these look really good. Um, this is great looking stuff. This has that sort of cool future punk style, cyberpunkish, really cool look here. Uh, you know, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of these things. Uh, let's take a look at Mid Journey over here. Back into Mid Journey. Mid Journey, I mean, personally, I think it's a little more detailed, but the, the gap between the two of them is not much. So personally, I think they're both good. Um, the last one I put in as a photorealistic portrait of an old man looking straight ahead. This is traditionally where Mid Journey in the details can beat all of its competitors. And if we look at these these pictures here, like this literally looks photorealistic. Like this, these people don't exist, but they look like they should exist or they do exist. Mid Journey wins here in almost everything. That said, if we go over over here let's take a look at what this came up with and you know what the image creator came up with pretty good like this one is not too bad it's not great um they well, no, that one's actually pretty good but it's not it's not as good as um mid journey i'm just going to be blunt this one here the details they're just not as believable the like if you look at his whiskers and his mustache it looks sort of painted on versus actually organic so i'm going to say mid journey wins in this one by quite a margin that said, if you look at this one here that I did earlier, I said, attractive lady reading a book, photorealistic. If you can look past the fact that her hands are wonky as hell 
everything else looks really, really good. And one of the reasons why is if you add the word photorealistic in with no space, with no hyphen, it generally tends to do a very good job. I did this one here earlier. I put in photorealistic style. And uh, yeah, this just doesn't look right. This looks like it's borderline, you know, something that belongs in The Sims. Uh, same one here. I did it with a hyphen photorealistic. And I mean, we got this guy here. Everything's pretty good, but his facial features are wrong. Like he looks like he wears the helmet in and out of rafting, if you know what I mean. So anyways, guys, that's a comparison. The new image creator by Microsoft Bing is incredible. It's free. It's virtually unlimited and it is worth a crack and I think it's awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching.